about some tips and tricks to look good, put together and presentable at all times. We're going to talk about some personal grooming tips that will help us to achieve an effortless yet elegant look. And also before we dive into the video, make sure to follow me on Instagram to get some simple yet classy outfits that can work for your wardrobe as well. Now let's begin. We are going to start with some personal grooming tips. It is important to know that there is no need to spend a lot of money on really expensive products, expensive treatments or even excessive makeup. It is totally fine if you like these things and you purchase them, but we can do a lot with less. As for me, I have been to the hairdresser probably five times in my entire lifetime since I cut my hair on my own and I have never been to a nail salon to get my nails done. I keep my nails groomed and tidy on my own. So even though there is no need for us to spend a lot of money on these things, we can practice some simple habits to keep ourselves tidy and neat. I believe that a simple and correct personal grooming is the key. As for me, I like to use some simple makeup touches to enhance my natural beauty. I use a little bit of concealer and my signature lipstick, which gives me the appearance of being put together and boosts my confidence a little bit. I must say that I also pay a lot of attention to skin hydration since my skin is quite dry. I apply moisturizer to my body when I get out of the shower and some night cream on my face before sleeping as well as a day cream in my morning routine. This keeps my skin looking fresh and smooth because otherwise it gets quite dry. Another tip is to take good care of your hair. Strong and shiny hair can be achieved with simple habits, like for instance putting oils and treating your hair properly. Healthy hair looks always stylish and put together. My tip is to take a few minutes every day to groom and style your hair. This will instantly upgrade your look. I personally do not use any heat on my hair and it works fine for me. Plus, I am using my natural shampoo and conditioner in addition to some argan oil as my hair treatment kit. Third, try to keep your nails clean and tidy. If you like to paint them for instance, which usually adds a little bit of a classy touch, make sure to remove the nail polish once it starts to wear off. that I don't believe that we need to own expensive clothing items or a ton of them to look good. If we take care of our clothes and pair them properly, we will be able to achieve a classy and elegant look. Just make sure to have some basic pieces in your wardrobe that you can mix and match. Also, try to keep your clothing neat and in good conditions. Wash your pieces according to their washing instructions and repair them or recondition them if necessary. For instance, I own this little gadget that allows me to keep my sweaters looking good once they start to bubble. Another tip is to iron your clothes. I must admit that I totally struggle with this, but this is an important step to look more presentable. Also, I have started to pay attention to the small details, like trying to keep my sneakers looking white. Which can be really, really hard. If you have white sneakers, you probably know the struggle. <laughs> 
besides that, a natural color wardrobe or keeping a coordinated color palette usually helps you to achieve a cohesive look, making you look stylish. It is much easier to mix and match your clothes and you will probably create a personal style through your color palette of choice. It is important to keep a good posture, not only to look presentable, but also because it is good for your health. Having good manners and cultivating your pose is also something to remember when eating, for instance. This will also help you to be more mindful with food, as you will tend to eat more thoughtfully, ultimately allowing yourself to enjoy and appreciate a meal. Having respectful and graceful manners towards others is really important. It is nice to be polite and a little bit discreet, having that sort of mysterious vibe. I think that that is just really cute. Last but not least, beauty comes from within. There are several things that you can do to cultivate a put-together look. For instance, make your best to bring healthy and nutritious food into your body. Just avoid junk food and make sure to eat plenty of fresh and colorful things. Also, keeping yourself hydrated will enhance a natural, good-looking skin. Taking care of your inner emotions is also important. You need to take some time to relax and deal with your feelings. Stress can accelerate aging, create skin problems like dryness or pimples or premature wrinkles. It can produce hair loss, interfere with your sleeping patterns, your mood, you know, the list goes on. Instead of this, it is better to have a good understanding and management of our own thoughts and feelings. For that, you can do something simple like meditating or journaling for some few minutes a day. Also, you can keep a healthy body by including movement into your routine. Working out is excellent not only for the looks, but also to clear your mind, bring oxygen into the body and make you feel great. So one of my last steps is to try to cultivate your inner confidence. This is something that I personally struggle a lot with because I'm not the most confident person and I sometimes have so many doubts about myself, about what I'm doing and so on that it's hard for me to feel really confident. But you know, they say that it's not the clothes but the one that wears them. If you're confident and if you feel good in your own skin, that will show and you will have this elegant grace that will come naturally to you. I believe that this is a bit of a fake it until you make it because if you conduct yourself with grace and you know with elegance you will look really really good and I also think that the things you wear and the way you style yourself and take care of your body are a big part of this because if you just have some simple habits that help you to look your best you will ultimately feel good. And this has nothing to do with material possessions or following trends or whatever. It has to do with you taking care of yourself. For instance, I really, really like to take some time to put myself together in the morning and then I have all of this energy to start the day and I am really into doing things because I feel good. But as you know, I don't use a lot of makeup, I don't wear expensive designer clothes. I also like to use comfortable clothes that allow myself to move around and I feel my best when I wear them. So once again, I am really trying to work hard on this to become more confident and to feel better in my own skin. Now that we have been through all of the tips, I would love to know which one was your favorite and also if you have any other tip and trick, make sure to comment it down below so that our community can have those beautiful tips and do not forget to hit the little subscribe button. 
As you can see, these tips are not expensive, time-consuming or super hard to achieve. Because I believe that when we do things that feel comfortable for us and that fit our lifestyle, we feel our best. So yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe once again. I really hope to see you next time and please stay simple.